What's going on, people? Troops TV, back again. We're back again. Preview time. You get me? Obviously, we take on West Ham uh, this weekend. The squeaky seat is back again, in case you heard that. Um, that one a fart, like, in the live stream when Little Man was letting off pups left, right, and centre. Um, yeah, that was not one. So let's get that in from now. Don't want to see none of that in the comments. It's squeaky chair. If you're going to put anything in the, in the comments, put hashtag squeaky chair. But Premier League football is back again. You understand? Um, we entertain West Ham at the Emirates, uh, London Derby. Big, big game, to be honest. You understand? Because when you look at the table, uh, we're still 10th. You understand? Nothing has changed there. But uh, we've closed the gap on the race for top five. So as it stands, we are five points of fifth position with the state of play with Man City and the ban and whatnot. If you get fifth, it's looking like that could be a way into the Champions League. Uh, with five points off United, who are fifth, obviously they entertain Man City in the Manchester Derby this weekend. We've got West Ham in a London Derby. Um, if things were to go our way this weekend, uh, we actually also have a game in hand on Man United, uh, which I think we will play midweek. And unfortunately, our game in hand will be against Man City away. And you know, we don't really travel well when it comes to going to Man City or traveling anywhere, to be honest, Blan, you understand? But yeah, uh, if we were to beat West Ham this weekend, we would go two points behind Man United if they were to lose um, against Man City. Which is a uh, high possibility because obviously City need the win. The league's done, let's be real. Um, Liverpool, that's done. It's just a matter of time of when they actually get the trophy handed over to them. But the, the race for top four is really on, you understand? And we have uh, been in a decent run of form since Arteta has come in. Um, obviously, um, we lost to Olympiacos. We got knocked out of the Europa League. Uh, we did go through in the FA Cup. Big up everyone that watched the live stream. Big up everyone that watched the match uh, reaction. Uh, we did beat Portsmouth 2 0 away from home, but Torreira did get injured. And that's not a good, that's not good at all. Um, he's got a right fractured ankle. Um, Arteta doesn't know how long he'll be out. I think he's going to go see a specialist today. Uh, wish Torreira all the best. Uh, very, very important player for us. And since Arteta's come in, he's done really well. He's looked like the old Lucas Torreira. But luckily, since Arteta's come in as well, Sabayos has stepped up as well. And the partnership that we've seen in recent weeks of Granit Xhaka and Danny Sabayos has really looked really good, you understand? And this weekend, I'm hoping to see um, Saka, you understand, starting again. Uh, Tierney is back in full training, but I think it's a bit too early to put him in. I think maybe... The next, I don't know, maybe put him on the bench. You understand? I don't think we should put him in. I think the run of form of Saka that he's in, I think Saka is one player in the team that is undroppable. Um, things, uh, a lot of rumours came out this weekend, this week as well, sorry, not this weekend, this week, um, concerning Ainsley, Maitland, Niles, Socrates and Gwenduzi. And apparently Arteta has said that um, they are basically on the line. You understand? Your necks are on the line. Your jobs are on the line and there is a possibility that if we need players, you know, obviously we're going to need to get players out in the summer to probably spend, but they are the players that are, you understand, at jeopardy of leaving the club. Now, for me, when it comes to Gwenduzi, um, I think it must be his attitude because football and ability is there. So it's got to be his attitude. But if he doesn't have the right attitude, then we're going to have to get him out of the club. Um, if he wants to buck up his ideas, then... You understand? Let's keep him and let's build in. Let's, let's build with the squad. Uh, AZ Maitland Niles, uh, I don't know, man. I'd, I'd keep him, but a lot of people are saying just get rid of him. Let's just cut ties. Socrates, um, I love Socrates. You get me? He's got a goal midweek. Um, he's looked a lot better since Arteta's come in. He defensively looked strong. Uh, but I'm not too sure about letting Socrates leave. I think. I think he's younger than Louise as well, you get me? So I think if we was going to get rid of one of them, I'd rather keep Socrates and get rid of Louise. But Louise has done really well as well, you understand, since Arteta's come in. And a majority of the players have done really well, you understand? Have done really well since Arteta's come in. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. I think we'll get the win. 
Um, I already said on Bias Show, if you haven't watched that, that I think we'll win 3 1. Um, hopefully, we do get the win. Obviously, let's talk a little bit about West Ham. Now, West Ham coming to this game on a good run of form. Um, their last two games, obviously, they lost away to Liverpool. Very unlucky to lose away to Liverpool in my eyes. I think they've done really well, went 2 1 up, and then Lucas Flapiansky doing his best. Um, cameo of a goalkeeping error that he done at Arsenal year after year after year after year. Yeah, he came into full effect and they lost the game 3-2. Uh, but they did beat Southampton last week, 3-1 at home. They needed that victory because they were in the bottom half of uh, the, they were in relegation battle, sorry, uh, the relegation zone, should I say. But now they currently sit 16th, uh, a point above the relegation, not even a point above the relegation zone. They actually are on 27 points with Bournemouth who are 18th, Watford who are 17th, and obviously they are 16th with 27 points. Uh, Villa are on 25 and Norwich are on 21. So nobody has been confirmed for relegation yet. Um, Norwich you'd think would go, Villa you'd think would go, and then it'd be out of Bournemouth and Watford. And I'd probably go with Bournemouth to go down. I think Watford will be, will be fine this year. I think Watford will stay up. I think West Ham will stay up as well. I think they got enough in their team. The likes of Declan Rice, uh, Mikel Antonio, um, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Oh, um, Odin, Odin, uh, Odin. What's his name again? The guy that he scored against us, blood. That defender. They got a couple men in their team, though. I think David Moyes will have enough in there to keep his team up in the Premier League. But it's all about Arsenal. It's all about us getting this win. Because if we win, we will be on 40 points. And then that will bring us even closer to the top five because I never really realised until Arteta done his, uh, his pre-match talk that top five is actually on now. Champions League football is actually on in the league. The run of results that have happened, Tottenham falling... Sorry, pardon me. Uh, Tottenham falling apart. Obviously, you've seen them capitulating. But you understand, we do have a tough run of games. We still have to go to Wolves. We still have to go to City. We still have to go to Tottenham. We still have to play Liverpool at home. And obviously West Ham this weekend will be a difficult game as well because it's a London derby. They're fighting for their lives. We're fighting for Champions League football, even though we're 10th. It's mad, bro, that we're 10th and we're still in with a chance to get Champions League football. That's how dead the league has been this year. Like Leicester haven't won a game. I think they've won one game in the last eight, I think it is. One game in their last eight and they still sit third comfortably like comfortably like if you check the if you check defeats yeah we have lost the same amount of games as man city uh we have lost less games than leicester we have lost less games than chelsea united uh, we've, uh wolves have only lost six games as well wolves is, wolves is a team that have a lot of draws as well they've had 12 draws this year we've had 13 in the stand so wolves and arsenal look like the draw specialists Hopefully there's not a draw in this game. Um, let's get into my lineup for this game. In goal, uh, you've got to go Bird Leno. Yeah, he made a mistake against uh, Olympiakos, but you get me. You don't really see that from Leno, you get me. He's been a lifesaver for us. Him and Obama Blood Clark Young have probably been the standout performers for us in this terrible season. So for me, no issues with Leno starting in goal. The back four, here's where I'll switch it up. Um, I think Mustafi has done wonderful things since he has come um, into the team under Arteta. I think Luis has done wonderful things. I think uh, Socrates has done wonderful things. I think the whole defence has been great. I think the only one who's been a bit shaky is Bellerin, but he is coming back from a long-term injury, so it's going to take him time to get back into his stride and get going again. Uh, so for me, I'll keep Bellerin at right back. Said about pairing, here's why I switch it up now. I loved uh, Mari's performance against Portsmouth. Yeah, it wasn't um, a difficult opponent, but what he had to deal with, he dealt with, and he looked very calm and he looked very assured and he looks like a solid defender. So for me, I would love to see the pairing again of David Luiz and Pablo Mari as centre backs. And then obviously, Bakayo Bloodclot Saka will be the left back. Tierney's back in full training. Big up Tierney. Hopefully, he'll be on the bench. Uh, midfield pairing, you're going to have to go with Granit Xhaka and Danny Ceballos. In recent weeks, they've looked really good. Uh, Ceballos has looked on job blood, you understand? He's looked like he's got tenacity in his game now. Forward thinking, loving everything I'm seeing from the pairing of Granit Xhaka and Danny Ceballos. Uh, the three behind the one, because obviously we, we play three, then a one up top. 
Um, I'm going to switch it up again. On the right hand side, a lot of people have been asking for Reese Bumba Clark Nelson. I think Reese has done really well every time he's coming to the team. I think he had a great game against Portsmouth as well. But I think that Pepe has come into he's coming to his own. I think he's come alive. He's had a few assists and um, a few goals in the recent games. So I'm going to go with Nicholas Blood Clark Pepe on the right. I'm going to keep Ozil in the 10. You understand? I'm going to keep Meza in the 10 because, yeah, I'm just going to keep him in the 10. Let's see if he can get a goal this week or get an assist. On the left, I'm going to go with Gabriel Martellini. I'm going to drop Lacar to the bench. And then up top, you already know, how about my blood clot, young? My brother. So, yeah, that's my level for this game. That was my preview. Um, like I said, I think we'll get the win. I'm going for a 3-1. Uh, we need the win. You understand? Win and then top four, top five, sorry, the race is really on. But, um, yeah, man, you lot already know. Leave your predictions and your starting 11s in, in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to Troops TV. Look out for the match reaction after the game. Until then, I'm out.